r slash 2x chromosomes. Savitha Trifford says. Doctor refers me to psych instead of trying to figure out what's wrong. I've been having ear issues for over 4 months now. My left ear has this full feeling, vibrating, flapping, pounding, annoying noise. It lasts 4 days at a time. It's intermittent and not on any pattern. It keeps me from sleeping, and wakes me up at night. Finally I went to my family doctor who tried sinus meds, steroids nasal spray, tested my hearing with an audiologist, and then sent me to an end. Nothing is working. So today I see the end who looked at me for less than a minute, and says I don't want you to say I think you're crazy. I believe these sounds are real to you. But there's nothing wrong with your ear. You'll need to see a psychologist. Then adds that maybe I'm stressed, because I have kids, and a full time job. And my stress is manifesting in this ear problem. I asked, could it be a reaction to a new medication I started last fall? No. Could it be a brain tumor? No. I'm so frustrated at being dismissed, because I'm just a stressed out working mom. I see these stories about women not being taken seriously by medical professionals, I can't believe I'm dealing with this now. Fluffing Bodkin says. Ask to be referred to a neurologist. Issues with the trigeminal nerve could be possible. What's in Anamen 3 was says. Find a different end. I had a friend who had an ear issue, started losing hearing, but couldn't get taken seriously for years. Finally she got a good end who ordered imaging an halo tumor wrapping around the balance nerve right behind her ear. She had it removed, but they couldn't get the clean margins they wanted, and she may have to do chemo if it grows back. Take away, unless there's a clear explanation that satisfies you, you know your body better than anyone. Don't back down. Don't let them call you a hypochondriac, or whatever. Make sure you're taking care of you. Savitha Trifford says. Thank you. This is validating. I'm going to keep asking for help. I'm worried it is something like a tumor, because I honestly don't know what else it could be. What's in Anamen 3 was says. It may be or may not, but if there isn't an explanation that sits well with you, and or your symptoms are progressing like my friends were. I left out the truly frightening part though. She did get imaging done initially, and was told it was nothing. When she took those images, 5 years later to a specialist, she asked if there was anything on them. He said, very reluctantly. That yes. The tumor had been there. And either someone did not read the images correctly, or they, fill in the blank with some other horrific possibility. She could have had that thing removed when it was tiny, and it would not now be endangering her facial nerve and balance nerve on that side, hence why they couldn't get clean margins. She didn't want to risk permanent damage to her balance or partial facial paralysis. All of this is just to say, don't hesitate to get a second opinion. And even if you get images, make sure they show them to you, and can explain them to you. Make sure you get copies of the radiology reports and push. I'm not a doctor and this is an isolated case, but I will say we live in a metro area and she's lucky to have a university hospital with neurosurgeons that specialize in these areas relatively nearby. If you have access to that, maybe consider taking a trip. Good luck opus. The brain can do some truly funky things, but don't let them write something off just because they can't explain. Dretinales says. I was having double vision and seizures after a weird episode back in 2013. The neuro I was seeing asked my so if I had psychological problems while I was sitting next to them with our youngest. I had recently been diagnosed with a rare disease, so I was told it was stress. I went in for an angiography exam, and the cardiologist wouldn't do it after he saw me and referred me to Anathep Neuro. She ordered a court scan, and my episode was a carotid arterial dissection, and I had 4 aneurysms and malformations in my carotid arteries. So please get a second opinion. I lost count of how many specialists disregarded my symptoms as anxiety.
It's now time for an unpaid shoutout. Meet Arlo, the weird blue puppet who loves all things Nintendo, and yet complains constantly. With his sharp wit and unique perspective Arlo's videos are a must watch for any Nintendo fan. Follow the link in the description to start watching now. r slash 2x chromosomes. Senix says. Seriously what is it with men defending sexual assault slash rape? I'm so, frick, I'm tired of seeing men defending this shit, like what the frick. Saw a video of a guy holding down some girl's arms, and forcing a kiss on her, after that he groped her. And the comments were filled with men saying that this isn't sexual assault, that I doesn't count as sexual assault, that it had okay to do that blah blah blah. It's crazy to me that these guys see nothing wrong with it, and then when you rightfully tell them that they're wrong and part of the problem they'll defend themselves, like there's no tomorrow. Also not to mention a plethora of guys can get sexually assaulted too yes they can, but not nearly as commonly or as much as women. Infiniflip says. They rationalize things they have done, or they simply cannot empathize with 50% of humanity. Really it's more, like they can't empathize with 75% to 80% of humanity. It's all about them, and other men like them, or it's not important. Some sapphic says. Patriarchy defines sexual assault less as a crime against a woman's agency or body, and more like a property crime against her owner. The owner in this case can be variable. It could be her husband, boyfriend, father, or son. It could also be the state or the abstract concept of the upper class or whiteness. This is why things tend to be real sexual assault a lot more when committed by members of marginalized groups. Essentially, for men to recognize something as sexual assault, there needs to be a male perspective present in the scene. Just a woman being traumatized isn't enough. And, importantly, they need to identify with this male perspective more than they do with the only other male perspective of rapist. Which is the case a lot less often than you'd hope. Mindotta says. Ask them, is it okay, if a much bigger man holds down your arms and forces a kiss on you? R slash 2x chromosomes. Awakeen Defraid says. I think it was this sub. Where someone posted their neighbor, kept trying to join them, while they were walking their dog. That exact scenario happened to me this morning. A man approached me, said excuse me, missed several times. I ignored. Can I talk to you? Ignored why you walking so fast? Let me walk with you please don't, if you see ex neighbor around, you gotta tell her in looking for her I speed walk away, he tried to follow. A couple's up next to him, he talks to them, and looked back at me several times. It made me very uneasy, and he was outside my building, when I walked out of my car, to get into my condo. So he knows my car, and where I live. Gotta be more cautious from now on. Violet Auto says. Was it a process server? They can be weird. Pupstirk9 says. I dunno, but his comment about if you see ex neighbor around, you gotta tell her I'm looking for her, and that a car pulled up, that he was talking with, makes it sound like there was more going on here than him wanting to join you on a walk. Sounds like there was some information about a neighbor, that he either hoped to get from you, or wanted to pass on to you. r slash 2x chromosomes. Blueberry Jim says. Your workplace should not be somewhere you seek potential partners. My ex broke up with me for several reasons, one of which was that he developed feelings for his cow walker after inviting her out to a late dinner and drinks while we were still together. I have another male cow walker, one who refuses to take hints, who has been trying to develop a deeper relationship with me, and this whole situation is so triggering because the pain from the breakup is still very fresh. It is also horrible, because I'm now put in a position, where I have to be blatantly rude to someone I work with, and see on a daily basis, just so I can get him to leave me alone. That lesbian lawyer says. I always recommend that, if you find yourself attracted to your co-worker, 
please read the employee handbook to see how workplace relationships are handled. Work isn't the place to find a partner, but so many people do find someone through work, because it's where they spend the majority of their time. 10 underscore 2 and underscore 4 says. The old adage don't dip your pen in company ink. Forever Maleficent 993 says. Everyone is there to survive and pay their bills. It would be annoying to navigate unwanted advances at work. Lanelli Cranberry says. Oh it's so toxic. Don't do it. It's because people spend more time at work than with their partners. You're bound to get close. R slash 2x chromosomes. Different underscore name underscore 1144 says. Guy who I rejected is threatening me. D. 21 male, has a major obsession with me, 20 female, I was his friend at first for a few months then he confessed, and I rejected him but remained friends. Then he sexually assaulted me in my room and I reported it to the university. When he found out he threatened to throw acid on my face, the university called the police and the police came to warn me about this, but did not do anything despite having witnesses of the threat. The university later expelled him. This all ended summer last year. But now he's back, and he visited campus, and he's not allowed to be here because he's banned, to speak to a guy who I talked to a year ago, and I just found out 3 days ago, that he threatened to throw acid on his face and another one of my friend's face. What do I do I'm literally in shock that he's back after almost a year and I have end of year in person exams for a month, so I can't even leave campus. What do I do? Call the police. But will they even do anything they didn't do anything last time? Ardia underscore Herodias underscore 2022 says. Let the university police and local police know that he's back and threatening people again. Get yourself a taser or similar protection that you can carry all the time. If you're in the dorms, let dorm security know. 30H8 says. Out of curiosity, are you in the US? That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.